Hi everyone, welcome to Javaras. Let's continue our discussion of securing single page applications with Spring Security. In this video, we are going to see how to implement logout when using OAuth2 authentication and authorization protocol. Till now, we have created authorization server, client server, and resource server. And we are able to log in to the client server using authorization server and we are able to access resources from resource server with the same access token now i made a little change here what i did is instead of using our own authorization server i am using authorization server of opta so on opta developer platform i went ahead and created a web application in the resource server I changed the issuer URI to the URI which is available on Opta. So uh, when I created an application, I got this issuer URI. So I am using that here. Similarly, in the client server application as well, in the application dot properties, I changed the client ID to the client ID which I received from Opta when I created an application. And this here will be client secret. So these are just placeholder. I will pause the video and I will replace these with actual client ID and client secret. So I went ahead and replaced those placeholder with actual client ID and client secret. And I started the client application here using mvnw spring boot run command. And I started resource server as well using gradlew boot run since we are using gradle for resource server and now i should be able to use the application so i will open new private window here localhost 8081 so this is the port for client server 8081 now you can see since we are not logged in so we are redirected to the authorization server opta in this case to enter username and password I have already created a user in Okta platform. So the email is john.smith at newuser.com and I have created a password here. Click on sign in. So we are able to log in and we can see the client application here. And these two buttons, as you already know, they send request to the resource server. So let's test them out. So I will open network tab here. So we can see the actual request. We'll click on post hello. So this should send a post request to resource server and it will go to the response back. And the gets request is also working. Now we need to uh, we need to add a login button here. So let's do that. Let's go to app.component.html and here copy this. Now in order to log out, we just need to redirect the user to the logout endpoint. So let's say after it, if I say logout, and then the user will see this logout page. So we just need to redirect the user to logout. So here I will create a link instead of button, I will create a link here. So li and a HRA will be log out, and this is the default endpoint provided by Spring Security. And I will say log out. I will save it and I will restart the client application. I have restarted the client server. Now I will again go to localhost 801. Now we can see the logout link here. So let's try. Everything is working fine. So the post request is working, get request is working. And let's click on logout. So now the user is redirected to are you sure you want to log out? Now let's click on logout. So let's open inspect here. Click on logout here. Now we can see we are getting an error called invalid CSRF token. Now in order to solve this issue we need to go to authorization config in 
client server OAuth to application. And here instead of using XOR server CSRF token request attribute handler, we just need to use server server CSRF token request attribute handler. And it will work fine. So now let's restart the application. The application has restarted. Now let's refresh the page. So we are logged in. Now let's test whether the post and get request working or not. So these are working. So it's very important to test all the post requests when we modify the CSRF configuration because all the post requests need CSRF token. So let's say we fix the logout issue, but we don't want to introduce any other issue which prevents our post requests. So we need to test everything. Let's click on logout and click on logout here. So you can see we are logged out of the application. Now let's click on login with Okta again. So whenever we click on this link, so it it's not asking us for username and password again. Why? Because we are just logged out of the client application, but we are still logged into the authorization server or Okta in this case. So it won't ask for username and password again. Now let's say what you want is whenever the user logs out of the client application, you want him to be logged out of the authorization server as well. So you can do that. So if you go to this documentation, so you can search for Spring Security OIDC logout and you will get this reference documentation. And here, if I read it, once an end user is able to log into your application, it's important to consider how they will log out. Now, generally speaking, there are three huge cases for you to consider. The first is if you want to perform local logout. Local logout means logout from the client server only. The second is I want to log out both my application and the OIDC provider. So you want the user to be logged out from your application as well as from authorization server. And this logout will be initiated by the application. The third huge case is similar to the second huge case, but the logout will be initiated by the OIDC provider. So we have already seen the local logout. We just need to send a get request to the slash logout endpoint and user needs to click on uh, logout button. But let's say you want to log out the user from authorization server as well. So for that, we need to make some changes. So first of all, we need to enable Webflux security here. So let's do that. So I will go to authorization config in client server and here enable Webflux security. And then we need to create a server logout success handler. So let's create this one, copy it, paste it here. And to, we need to create one auto wide instance variable. So here the type is reactive client registration repository and the variable name is client registration repository. So in the application.properties file, we define all the parameters for the authorization server. So from those parameters, the reactive client registration repository is automatically binded to our application. And then we can use this repository. So what we are doing is we are creating an OIDC client initiated server logout success handler using this client repository. And um, we are logging out the user and after logout, we will redirect, it, redirect the user to the base URL, which is the base URL of our client application. Now we need to add this to the logout success handler. So here we can go ahead and click http.logout and logout spec. And what we want to do is logout success handler. So we want to make this as logout success handler. So we can just call this method YDC logout success handler. So after successful logout, this method will be called and this method will log out the user from the 
ऑथोराइजेशन mm, सर्वर ओके सो लेट्स सेव द चेंजेस एंड रीस्टार्ट द एप्लीकेशन द एप्लीकेशन हैज बीन रीस्टार्टेड लेट्स रीस्टार्ट लेट्स रिफ्रेश द पेज हियर सो लेट्स ट्राई सेंडिंग सम रिक्वेस्ट फर्स्ट सो आई विल सेंड पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट टू द रिसोर्स सर्वर एंड इट्स वर्किंग फाइन सो आई विल सेट गेट रिक्वेस्ट टू द रिसोर्स सर्वर इट्स ऑल्सो वर्किंग लेट्स क्लिक ऑन लॉग आउट एंड लॉग आउट सो द यूजर इज लॉग आउट एंड द यूजर इज लॉग आउट फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट एप्लीकेशन एज वेल एज फ्रॉम द ऑथोराइजेशन सर्वर दैट्स वाई वी कैन सी दिस लॉग इन फॉर्म हियर सो वी नीड टू लॉग इन अगेन सो इफ आई गो टू लोकल होस्ट एट जीरो एट वन नव यू कैन सी वी आर नॉट लॉग इन टू द ऑथोराइजेशन सर्वर वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड अगेन इन ऑर्डर टू लॉग इन टू द क्लाइंट एप्लीकेशन सो दैट्स हाउ वी परफॉर्म द लॉग आउट सो आई दर यू कैन जस्ट हैव लोकल लॉग आउट और यू कैन हैव लोकल लॉग आउट विद लॉग आउट फ्रॉम ओ आई डी सी प्रोवाइडर एंड दैट कैन बी इनिशिएटेड बाई योर क्लाइंट एज वेल एज फ्रॉम ओ आई डी सी प्रोवाइडर एंड हाउ टू हाउ टू इनिशिएट द लॉग आउट फ्रॉम ओ आई डी सी प्रोवाइडर यू कैन रेफरेंस दैट हियर आई वॉन्ट कवर दैट हियर दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग आई विल मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो अंटिल देन कीप लर्निंग बाय